finisher matches. Murray serves it up. Glass going back out to Hodge off the fingertips. Point Penn State. Megan Hodge, eight kills. She's hitting nearly 600. And she is so effective. Cal trying to make her work harder. They served her, and she comes inside out and still hits that ball extremely effectively right off the top of the block. Lloyd looking for Tutera up against Brown that time with Fatima Balza. Dorton cross court for the kill. So on that play before, you can see Hodge having to pass, and then she runs inside out. That's not an easy thing to do and still notches the kill. Most hitters would rather get outside the court and run in to attack. Gordon wins that joust at the net. 15-10, Nittany Lions here in the second set. They are hitting as a team, 571. And now have the blocking advantage, 5-1 to a one over Cal. Tutra got it in. And an interesting adjustment by Penn State. That time they put Fatima Balza, the normal middle blocker, for no, number three for Penn State, on the outside and Blair Brown in the middle in an effort to try to get the taller player in front of that cross-court shot of Tudras. Good cat and mouse stuff going on. Whistle will go on Penn State at the net as Chudera was already <laughs> arguing with the official, and then he smiled and looked at her and said, hey, I'm giving yeah. it to you guys. <laughs> exactly, Chudera was saying, I wasn't over. <laughs> Brown, popped up by Kathan, terrific D. Very nice read by her. Glass goes the opposite way to Dorton, stuck. Carly Lloyd got a piece of it. We'll file that play away if Cal comes on to win this second set. Kathan coming from very deep in the court, reading the fact that Blair Brown slowed down her arm swing, puts her hands under it, and then Cal notching the stuff. Last the back set to Brown, and this time she opts not to take anything off, gets the kill. And that time she was what the whole Penn State team was what we call in system, had a good pass, a good set. And Alicia Glass could put it anywhere she wanted on the court, so she gets Brown a one on one chance. Rico, who served it so well in that first set. And here she goes again. She's wearing that opposite colored jersey. She is the libero, a defensive specialist. She can serve, but she can't attack. And uh, she has the ability to come and go as she pleases without checking in with the officials. And you don't see many Libros serving as hard as Dorico has here. Remember, we talked about that streak she had at the start of set number one. Really a force for her team. Chutera against the two top blockers for Penn State, and she gets it by him. 11 kills now for Hanna. She continues to hit close to 400 in the match. Yep, you can see her tap that last ball, sharp cross court. And that's something that Ariel Wilson needs to continue to look for. The service error. Chudra now, by the way, is just a kill shy of 2,000 for her career, and already has more kills than she had in the previous two matches in the NCAA tournament in 07 and in 08 in losses to Penn State. Here she is again, missed it long. I don't quite understand why Cal chose to run Chudera into the court. They have what they would probably feel is a little better blocking matchup. Now that Alicia Glass is at the net, you might think they'd set it outside like this and then go at Glass. Glass bumps it over to Dorton. Lloyd there to get it. Johnson. And the freshman puts it away. A homecoming of sorts for her from Winter Park, Florida. An all Pac-10 freshman selection. Only been playing competitive volleyball for the last three years is when uh, Rich Feller spotted her. Last to Dorton. Rookie on rookie, and she got it by Johnson. And Cal did what it probably planned to do, and that is make Dorton do the work. So the serve goes to her, but she put out a really nice angle, put those, lock those hands and wrists together, and then gets the one-on-one -on -one situation. But both teams a little sloppy at the service line right now, giving up easy points. Russ Rose, two wins away from 1,000, where he would join uh, Andy Banikowski at UCLA and uh, Dave Shoji at Hawaii, who did it earlier this year, joined the 1,000 Win Club, and his Rainbow Wahine will be playing Michigan 
tonight at 11.30 Eastern, trying to get back to the semis for the first time in six years. He was on a collision course with Stanford, the same course that UH, University of Hawaii, faced last season, but now with Michigan playing so strong at Stanford, earning the regional final. Penn State gunning for that commanding 2-0 lead here in the second set. The NCAA Women's Volleyball Regional Finals presented on ESPNU by Enterprise Rent-A-Car. And the Moss hanging off the trees along the shores of Lake Ellis here in Gainesville. Penn State took the opening set. They're trying to close out Cal here in the second. And Megan Hodge leading the way, eight kills. She's hitting 583. And Hana Couture has been nearly as good for the Bears with 11 kills hitting 320 which is a much better mark than she the last two times she faced this Penn State team. But now, for Cal to have a chance to come back from this five-point deficit, some of the other players are going to have to pick up the slack. Mike Holmes along with Kurt Karai here in Gainesville. And Megan Hodge booms another one. Hodge, the Pac-10 Player of the Year as a freshman and again this year in her final season. Yeah, a lot of spread between Big Ten player that freshman year and, and the senior year, but along with, as we mentioned, those two most outstanding players of the NCAA tournament the last two years, Hodge being such a consistent force for the Nittany Lions. She will close out her career as one of the most decorated in college history and then perhaps start out a long future and a bright one with the U.S. national team to be in the mix in years to come. Murray stuffed. Tries to send it wide long and missed it wide. And more set points now lined up for Penn State. <laughs> Service error from Kelsey Reen, the senior from State College. Hodge to Glass, falls up, and the middle hitter ends set number two. 